Weather First with meteorologist Marco Lomano. Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome fall from SNN. Thank you to one of our viewers, Eddie, for making us this, uh, many graphics actually, to welcome the uh, to welcome the season of autumn, but we appreciate this one as well. Thanks, Eddie, for letting us use this. And for all of us here at SNN, we are done with summer, but uh, not with a lot of fanfare. Still feels the same. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Uh, as low as 72 in Mayaka City, not bad, but then you get to the coast 77 in Sarasota, 76 in Bradenton, 75 Venice, 74 Northport, Englewood, and Punta Gorda. And the dew points around 73. So you're kind of in that range still where it's humid, but it's not quite that uh, overly muggy kind of feeling. That's when you get to 75 and above. Uh, that's what we were at on Monday and Tuesday mornings. Uh, but now we've settled down a bit as we were expecting. And we're quite happy with the transition. Of course, it's still going to be humid. We're by the coast. We're in that subtropical climate. But if we can get it to not be just suffocating, uh, we're happy. And that's what we're seeing. It's humid, but it's not suffocating. No rainfall as of yet. All right. <clears throat> what we have is a pretty quiet state. We have a westerly flow once again. And we have dry air. All this that you're seeing here is dry air pushing into the I-4 corridor into the Orlando area. It's helped to stifle rain development around the state. It'll continue to do so for quite a while. That's why we've had low rain chances as well, plus our westerly flow. We have hot temperatures in the low 90s today. It'll feel like it's around 97 or so. It won't feel like it's in the triple digits. The humidity is not high enough for that. It's still going to be humid, but it's not high enough that it'll feel like it's 100. So thank your lucky stars there. Here's the future track showing mostly flare ups right in the middle of the state with this westerly flow. Daytime heating will help flare things up, but the moisture will be in the center of the state and eastward. So we're not expecting a lot of rain along the coast. I would say about a 10% chance of rain if you're in the coast. If you're east of 75, more like a 20% chance of rain. And then tomorrow, same deal, about a 20% chance of rain overall. The full seven day forecast shows low rain chances through the weekend. Yes, I know earlier this week, it looked like it was going to be a bit rainier this weekend, but we have turned those numbers down. And so 20% chance of rain Saturday and Sunday. Bit of a bump early next week. Mid-70s for the overnight lows. Chuck?